All right, my fighters, so today we are going to talk about the maintenance tomorrow on the 15th of June and what we could get in it in terms of banners, events, and characters. By the way, our goal is to hit 15,000 subscribers, so if you are new here, then what are you waiting for? Make sure to smash that subscribe button so that we can hit our goal as soon as possible, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Now, as you can see, the maintenance is going to be actually for two sections. The first section is the shop section, and the second one is the summon section. And basically, uh, we are going to most likely, in terms of the shop section, we are going to get new discounts maybe, but we don't care about that, we don't care about whale stuff. <laughs> what we care about is the summon section. Now, the, in the summon section, we are either going to get a new banner, which is unlikely in my opinion, or a returning banner, which is what is going to happen in my opinion. I think that we are going to get actually a returning banner with returning characters. It has been a long, long while since we got actually a summonable ultra banner, so maybe they would actually go with a summonable ultra banner, basically a, a returning one, not a new one. A new one is coming most likely in part 3 in case they celebrate the, uh, the movie in part 2, by the way. Uh, if they don't celebrate the movie in, par in part 2, then the, the summonable ultra is coming in part 2. Otherwise, it will come in part 3. However, a returning ultra character, maybe a re maybe the return of uh, ultra KO King Goku, or maybe retur the return of ultra S Super Gojita, since they are going to, if, if they are going to celebrate actually the movie, that is going to make a lot of sense if they return the Ultra Super Gogeta since Ultra Super Gogeta is a movie character and he does buff uh, Sages from the movies so he is going to be a pretty good character for uh, for buffs for the movies so basically in case they are planning on celebrating the uh, the movie which in my opinion is going to happen next week not this week uh, unlike many other uh, people who think that it is going to happen this week if it would have happened if it would have actually happened this week i think that they should have uh, revealed a reveals and stuff video or something of that sort today but they didn't so basically i think that they are going to leave it until next week and that's when they are going to reveal a, a reveals and stuff video and they will give us actually what they will what they will give us in part 2 whether it is the summonable ultra or the the celebration of the movie anyways this is what we are going to get in my opinion in terms of banners it is going to be a returning banner it could be legends limited characters or it could be actually a returning ultra character now in terms of uh, events we know that there is actually the uh, the uh, event of uh, the free-to-play Goku uh, Gogeta uh, the Super Saiyan Gogeta the one that we have been waiting for for a long long time ago so we are going to get it most likely this reset since uh, Toshi said in the video literally that they are planning to release him in mid-June and tomorrow is literally mid-June it's the 15th of June like sir. <laughs> it's literally mid June so we should see actually the free to play Gogeta tomorrow and uh, we will see if he is going to be time gated I believe that he is going to be like any other free to play character but hopefully at least we can get him to 7 stars before actually uh, they start the time gating and uh, leave him maybe for a whole week before we can 14 star him if not even more so hope and hopefully he doesn't need actually a full power uh, battle mode in order to be able to 14 star him because that is going to be just hell so we will see what they are going to do but i believe that in terms of event we should see actually the event where we can farm the free to play gojita from and then maybe some other events together with it I, I don't think that there will be many since i believe that they are going to celebrate the part two of the fourth anniversary next week so i think that they will leave actually the events for next week not this week so we will see what they are going to do, but at least at bare minimum, I believe we should see actually the uh, the event of uh, Super Goshita and then maybe, maybe some other small events together with it that uh, to kill some time until we reach next week. Anyways, in terms of characters, we won't see actually new characters most likely other than the free to play Goshita since uh, we are going to most likely get actually returning banners, not 
the summonable, uh, not the new banners. Uh, so basically, we might see the return of Ultra character, maybe Ultra uh, Kaioken Goku for the celebration right now, which is basically uh, about uh, the Universe Survival Saga, or maybe a returning uh, Ultra Super Gogeta for the upcoming celebration of the movie in case they are going to celebrate the movie. And I believe they are going to do so because unless there is something in contract that is actually preventing them from doing so i don't think they are going actually to uh, to just completely ignore the fact that they can monetize this uh, celebration as much as hell uh, it, with the, the new characters from the super dragon ball super superhero movie so yeah basically they are fresh air they are actually fresh characters they are hype characters fan service literally fan service characters so i think that they are going to try to monetize them unless there is some Something in contract that is actually preventing them from doing so so yeah basically most likely 99% they are going to celebrate the movie in part 2 and I believe that this is going to happen next week not this week so yeah basically this is pretty much everything about the banners, the events, and the characters. Let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below. Do you think that we are going to get the celebration tomorrow or next week? And uh, which which uh, celebration do you think we are going to get? Are you, Do you think that we are going to get the Summonable Ultra? Or do you think that they are going to celebrate the movie? Uh, with the new characters from the movie and by the way which characters do you think we are going to get because there are many new characters and i'm not going to say any of them right now in the video because if you don't want actually spoilers you don't need to look at the uh, comments section either and uh, you don't need to fear that i am going to say any of the characters no i am not uh, so basically uh let me know which characters do you think they, that they are going actually to uh, to release during the celebration in case they celebrate the new movie. The new movie has, has some really hype characters and I believe that in case there is nothing that prevents them from doing so, they are going actually to celebrate it during part 2. But let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below. And yeah, basically with that being said, that was everything for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. And if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything you know about the Dragon Ball Legends. And with that being said, see you as always always in the next video of Dragon Ball Legends.